Did you know that children have the highest rate of antibiotic use? Hi, I'm Dr. Scranton from Pediatrics Northwest. In partnership with the Tacoma Pierce County Health Department, I'm here today to tell you more about antibiotic resistance and antibiotic usage. Currently, antibiotics are among the most commonly prescribed drugs used in human medicine. As a result, antibiotic resistance is a growing problem in the United States and across the world. In the United States alone, each year, two million people will become infected with bacteria that are resistant to antibiotics, and up to 23,000 people will die as a direct result of these infections. Antibiotic use in children is of particular concern because children have the highest use of antibiotics and often have fewer choices, as not all antibiotics can safely be given to children. Decreasing inappropriate antibiotic use is key in reducing antibiotic resistance. So now you're probably asking yourself, what can I do to help? The key piece of information I would like you to remember from today's video is that you or your child should never take an antibiotic for a viral infection. Antibiotics treat bacterial infections. They do not cure viral infections. Viral infections include the common cold, the flu, most sore throats, most coughs and bronchitis, many sinus infections, and many ear infections. For the overwhelming majority of common respiratory infections, antibiotics are not helpful. In fact, they can cause more harm than good. First, taking antibiotics increases your risk of getting an antibiotic-resistant infection later. Second, antibiotics kill the healthy bacteria in your gut, allowing more harmful bacteria to grow in its place. Lastly, antibiotics can cause adverse drug reactions. In fact, did you know that antibiotics are the most common cause of emergency department visits for adverse drug reactions in children under 18 years of age? Remember, when you use antibiotics appropriately, you do the best for your health, your family's health, and the health of those around you. Here are some things you can do when your child is ill. Ask your healthcare professional about ways to make your child feel better without using antibiotics. Never pressure your healthcare professional to prescribe an antibiotic. And ask your provider about vaccines. Vaccines are an effective way to prevent some infections that are caused by bacteria. If your child has an infection for which antibiotics were prescribed, it's important to give them exactly as your provider instructed. Never skip doses. Never stop the antibiotic early, even if your child seems better. Never save the antibiotic to give to your child when they have their next infection. Never give them antibiotics that were prescribed for someone else. And always discard your leftover antibiotics. Lastly, if you are wondering if your child needs an antibiotic, remember, if you have a cold or flu, antibiotics are not for you. Thank you for listening. I'm Dr. Scranton from Pediatrics Northwest.